wanted to say, and that is that um, what Richard said before about getting James on the floor in about 30 seconds is spot on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Chloe, a bit more please, please, something like that, you know, <laughs> defence of the country, all those sort of things. <laughs> um, we've still got photos at home of James and Chloe, my fair lady. I know Chloe, yes, but we've got them. My fair lady, year 12 formals, and so on. And uh, they're, one, they're the first part of how this relationship progressed. Obviously, there's a lot of photos out of tonight, and that's really <laughs> wonderful as well. But um, look at the whole progression. It's been fantastic. Um, yes, my fair lady, year 12, going apart. Going back together again, Chloe moving to Canberra, giving up jobs, start finding a new job, putting up with the fact that James was there sometimes, and when he was at home, he was probably um, asleep on the floor, getting over something else, like exercises or whatever those things are. And then graduating, and then moving to Sydney, James is away all the time, you know, having a good time, jumping out of airplane, whatever those people do. Whereas Chloe had to find yet another job, so fair bit of commitment there. So. Yeah, Chloe, well done. Um, James, you're pretty lucky. He's already said that, I suppose. Anyway, out of all, and organising the wedding, well done. <laughs> so let's talk about one other photo we have, we've got, and that is the actual bridge climb. Alice and I gave James and Chloe a Christmas present, which was the Harbour Bridge Climb. So they went and did it, and we have the photos to prove it. On the top, you know, opera house in the background, that sort of thing. But, you know, James, tough soldier, that, not, that sort of thing, no problems, climbed up all, but all too easy. Uh, for Chloe, climbing up that high, yeah, we thought that was pretty good until we stood under the bridge the other day and said, why, that's a long way up. <laughs> so, well done, Chloe, that was well done. Real commitment there, we were really, really <laughs> impressed. Race next Christmas yeah, James, thanks, bro. I won't go there any further. Okay, so anyway, thank you very much. Thank you, everybody, for coming along and, and helping. Chloe, welcome along. It's great, great to see you, and uh, we wish you all the happiness in the future. Thanks very much. <laughs> He's used to it. Sorry, he's used to it. But you know what they say, James? Always look at the prospective mother-in-law first, so you've been warned. I guess this is a time for Chloe's stories. Don't ever play I spy with my daughter. I spy with my little eyes. Something beginning with E. And then after an hour... You get, uh, you guys, it's Accelerator. <laughs> I think she was about 10 then, so. <laughs> Chloe, we remember you for the palm tree on the top of your head when you were little. The numerous dance costumes from the time you were two and a half. Your long hair, your stubbornness, and I'll wear you. <laughs> Thank you, Alison and David, for your support and love for Chloe. Thank you, Ma, for always being there for all of us. To everyone who has travelled and to all who are with Chloe and James today and those who could not be here, thank you for being a part of my daughter's life. Finally, I'd like to leave you with a few words of advice that were prepared for me by your grandfather, Chloe. In your endeavour to find true happiness, sometimes you will be rewarded. Sometimes you will be frustrated. Sometimes you will need prayer. Sometimes you will need trust. Sometimes you will need understanding. And sometimes you will need forgiveness. Sometimes you will need friendship. Sometimes we, hopefully, will be able to help. But remember always, you will need love. So it is with great honour that I welcome James into our family. I wish you both good health, I wish you happiness, I wish you riches in your very long life together. <laughs>